Welcome to the Storio 2 video series. In this lesson, we're going to go over installing, registering, and getting started with Storio. You can download the demo and follow along, or if you've already purchased Storio, you're good to go. Let's download the Storio 2 installer. Go to Jungle Software's download page. Scroll down to the Storio 2 installer and select either the Mac or the Windows link. Enter your information on this page, including first and last name and email address. Make sure the platform you are downloading is selected. Select the Submit button. After the file is downloaded to your computer, it will appear in your Downloads folder as a zip file. Double-click the zip file to unzip it. Then double-click the package to launch the installer. Follow the prompts on the screen to install Storio. If you are on a Macintosh, install Storio in the Applications folder. If you are on Windows, install Storio in the C drive or on any other drive that you have full read and write privileges. Now that Storio is installed, double click the Storio icon to launch it. Go ahead and click the Accept button on the license page. If you are trying out the demo, click the Demo button. If you purchase Storio, enter your name, company name, and serial number exactly as it appears on your registration email. If your serial number does not begin with an S020, then it is not your serial number. It is probably a download code. If your download code looks like this, then go to our registration page and register Storyo with that code. After you register it, you'll receive your serial number, which begins with an S020. After you enter your registration information, click OK. If you entered everything correctly, you will receive a registration successful dialog. When you click Continue, you will be asked to authorize Storio. Enter a unique name in the field provided. Your name and your computer type, for example. This is required because you can install Storio on another computer, and this will help us identify which computer is authorized. Now, click the Internet button. If you are not connected to the Internet, you click manually, but you will have to call Jungle Software to receive a response code to authorize Storio. If you do not authorize, you will have five days to do so. Now that Storio is authorized, you will be taken to the welcome screen. Go ahead and close this. Great. Now we can begin by sampling some of the projects loaded into Storio. There are four projects already loaded. To the right of each project, you will see three buttons. The first button is the Save button. Now, a quick explanation of saving in Storio. Any changes you make to any loaded project are automatically saved so you do not have to save any one of your projects. You do have to save your project if you want to transfer a project to another computer or for backup purposes, which we highly recommend you do. When you save a Storio project, it will automatically save in your My Projects folder. By deselecting this checkbox, you can save a Storio project anywhere else on your hard drive. The pencil button allows you to rename the project and enter other information about this project. Lastly, the red X button will delete this project from Storio. 
if you want to deauthorize Storio so that you can authorize it on another computer, select Authorize from the Extras pull down menu. With your purchase of Storio, you get two authorizations, which allows you to install Storio on two computers. If you want to install it on a third computer, you must first deauthorize either the first or the second computer. Click the Deauthorize button to do this. Again, just like authorizing, you must be connected to the internet to deauthorize Storio. Next, let's go ahead and create a new Storio project. Click the Create New Load Storio Project button. You are presented with four choices. The first one will load a saved Storio project. Now, if you look closely at the list of projects shown here, you will notice that they are the same as the Storio projects already loaded into Storio. These are the actual saved external files, so loading any one of these projects will only load that project a second time. In other words, you will have two copies of the same project loaded into Storio. You only want to select a project to load if it is not already loaded into Storio. What I'm going to do now is to cancel this screen and then delete a project that is already loaded into Storio. I'm going to delete the time travel project. Anytime you delete a project, you'll receive a warning. So now the project is deleted. However, if you select the new project button and select load project, notice that the time travel project is in your My Projects list. Let me show you where these projects are on your hard drive. If you hide or minimize Storio and go to your Applications folder or your C drive for Windows and find the Storio 2 folder, inside it there is a Saved Projects folder. Inside that, there is a My Projects folder. And notice here are all the sample Storio project files. So if you save your Storio project files here, they will appear in the My Projects list. Okay, so let's go back to Storio. If I select the time travel project, it will load into my copy of Storio. Before it loads, you can change the name if you want. I will just leave the name as is. Automatically, you are taken to one of the modules. In this case, it is the Timeline module. Select the Projects button to go back to the project screen. Now select the project Shakespeare's Hamlet. Notice that we now go to that project. So that is how you switch projects that are already loaded into Storio. Select the Projects button again. Now select the New Project button. The second option allows you to create a new Storio project. Check out the next video lesson, Creating a Project for How to Get Started with Your Own Project. The third option will convert a Storio 1 project to Storio 2. In order to learn how to do this, see the lesson on converting Storio 1 projects. The last option is the ability to import a screenplay. Normally, you would use Storio to outline and organize your story before you start writing the screenplay. But if you've already started your screenplay, or you wanted to convert your screenplay to a novel, for example, you can use this option. Storio accepts the .fdx file format for importing screenplays. This is the file format for File Draft 8 and above. In the Saved Projects folder, there is a sample screenplay named Storio Import, which I am now going to import. Select the Import Screenplay button. 
enter a name for the Storio project and then click OK. The next screen explains that you can only import the .fdx file format, so click Continue. The imported screenplay will be saved as one sequence in the timeline. So you can name the sequence here and then select a color for that sequence. More about sequences will be explained in detail in the timeline tutorials. Now click Continue. Find the .fdx file and select Choose. The sequence will be created in the timeline. Notice all the scenes from the screenplay come in as index cards. That wraps up this lesson. In the next lesson, Lesson 2, we will go over creating a Storio project and creating an outline in the Outline module.